I guess there was an instance with a bunch of skinheads. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was. Yeah. They, they didn't fuck with us, though. No? Mm -mm. They didn't fuck with us, though. You know what I'm saying? These are like um, soldiers recognize other soldiers. You know what I'm saying? They're just a different kind of soldier. Well, because at one point, I mean, because you were doing the, the gathering of the juggalos, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I guess you were kind of affiliated with Insane Clown Posse at one point? Uh, yeah. Um, they got a whiff of me in 2003. You know what I'm saying? They heard, I think their fans took the juggalos and juggalettes took toward, um, they took a liking to Angelic. The darkness of it, the face paint, it put us together. You know what I'm okay. saying? They called for me to be on a tour with them, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Cottonmouth Kings, and we went on a tour, and they embraced me since then. Okay. Yes. But you guys had a rift at one point? Recently. Recently. They said that I went on Hot 97 and didn't show enough love when um, Ebro and Peter Rosenberg was saying, my shit is like ICP. And I was like, no, it's not. It's different. Mm -hmm. But that's my family. You know what I'm saying? They asked me about the gathering. And I'm like, yeah, when we first went, they had this thing called Drug Bridge and, you know, Raw Dog Tent. And they didn't like the shit about the Raw Dog Tent. It was just shit that I've seen myself, you know? They said they don't there's remember. There's a Raw Dog Tent? Yeah, it was like, you know, it was just the fans. Why would they know? You know okay. what I'm saying? Why would they know it was the fans? Somebody had a tent and there was a bitch in there and it's like, you can fuck her. And, you know, and nobody was right. doing it, I'm sure. <laughs> we didn't see nobody doing it. We just right. heard about it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So they felt like that I was talking bad. And I would never talk bad about people that helped build yeah. the Tech 9 phenomenon. That got me death threats. Right, you had to cancel shows. No, I didn't cancel. Oh, you never canceled shows? No, I didn't Okay, but you were getting death threats. I was on tour when I got the death threats. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I just didn't do the gathering after the death threats. Okay. You guys never worked it out? Yeah, we talked, and they they, they, they apologized for not knowing. You know what I'm saying? We, me and, yeah. me and uh, Joe Bruce had an extensive phone call. You know what I'm saying? I told them the whole history of Tech 9 and why I didn't get all this from them. You know what I'm saying? And what I did, what I did learn from Psychopathic and... And things like that, and he understood. So they went on their radio show and said, you know, it's, it's good now. And they came out on stage in Detroit and introduced me and everything. But oh. it still put a wedge between the fan base. Yeah. It still put a wedge between it because it's still something like, fuck him. He, you know, he just left us behind. I'm like, nah, yeah. I ain't going to never forget the love they showed me. Now, in 2008, you considered just quitting rap. Yeah, I was done. I felt like. Um, but this was after a lot of success. This is not at your low point. Yeah, but I've been career. trying to I've been trying to reach the whole world since I started. Yeah. So around Killer Time, I was like, you know what? I had a song on there called uh, "Last Words." Like I don't know what else to say, dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's kind of like Jay Z's. What more can I say? Yeah. But little did I know, I had a lot more to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, I was it? I mean, at the time, did you feel like, all right, I got enough money. I don't really have to do this rap shit. I don't have to do this tour shit. I'm just going to sit back and... Yeah, but that wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? Because the IRS just kicked my ass back then and <laughs> took a lot of money from me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it sounded good. So now I'm in a position to where I feel like I'm going to give everybody four more years. We're going to hit these... Hit this four years real hard, and I'm going to hang back a little bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what I plan to do, but who knows, man? Who knows?